Hey, we're at Zechariah 13, verses 8 and 9. Let's hear what he says. And it shall come to pass in all the land, says the Lord, that two-thirds in it shall be cut off and die, but one-third shall be left in it. I will bring the one-third through the fire. I will refine them as silver is refined and test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name and I will answer them. I will say, this is my people. And each one will say, the Lord is my God. So here's a hopeful personal message from God. He will claim those who are his own and they will claim him. They will say, this is our God. At the same time here, the men, this is not a warm and fuzzy message. Uh, Two thirds will be, will die. Uh, this is, this is talking about severity, fire, testing, trial, uh, burning, a really severe test. All these people that kind of think about the, uh, tell you that uh, don't worry about it. Once we're uh, walking with Jesus, everything's going to be smooth and velvety. But this sounds to me like it's going to be a little bit more intense than that. If we'll just admit it, we tend to operate on a superficial level. Uh, everything all around us, we're skating all the time. We're kind of always at the last minute. We just barely get through the door. We just barely get this thing to happen. It's just something works out and we just just barely get in, we get stuff done. A lot of stuff happens by the seat of our pants, which really we have no right to expect would happen. I needed a little tool today for my for my tripod, just the right star tool to tighten it up. Well, I just happened to went, there's only one or two stores in town where I might find that. And I went there and they might be out of stock. I've got the last one hanging on the peg, but that's not the picture we have of, of the Bible. That's not the picture that Zechariah gives us of the end times. The picture of things just uh, smooth, gliding, just rolling in nice and smooth. No, that's not it. At the end of time, God's people are going to face a very extreme testing. Uh, just almost, almost humanly not survivable. It's going to be a pretty extreme time. Are you ready? Am I ready? Am I ready for that? But God gives us time and opportunity to get ready. But those that don't get ready, what's going to happen to them? So today, we want to think for a minute about how urgent it will be that we be ready. Hey, is this end time stuff going to be all pie and easy stuff? Well, go back and look at the Bible. Daniel found himself in the lion's den with hungry lions. David fought lions. Uh, Noah went through with a handful of people. They went through a worldwide cataclysm that destroyed the entire human population except five or six guys. The three worthies found themselves in the midst of the fiery furnace. Jacob fought the angel. Jesus was crucified. I mean, does that sound to you like it's just uh, smooth skating? There's a time of testing coming to us, and the Bible has, has, through the Bible, God has communicated to us, hey, you need to be able to stand up and stand straight. Uh, You need to really be ready because there are times of intensity coming. The universe has never seen them before, and a time of trouble is coming that the universe will never, ever see again. So that's, that's where you and I live. We landed Right here on that spot, that hinge, that hinge in the in the time, the, the history of the universe, that's where we live. So does that mean we should all just curl up into a ball and, and lose our mind and be afraid? No. It means that God will take us to heights of glory that, that few others have had opportunity to really experience. It's going to be intense. Some of us won't make it. Zechariah talks about two-thirds. Not, but then he talks about the third, the third that is tested, tested and goes through trial and suffers and it goes through the fire and they make it and theirs is the great privilege that's our great opportunity and so we want to go through we want to go through look if you had to if you could walk through with without fire to your future without jesus that doesn't work but if you try that you can go without the fire or if you go through to the future but the only pathway is the pathway through the fire but jesus is there with you he'll he'll hold your hand all the way through which one should you do I hope you recognize that uh, although it's hard to imagine, we have to walk through the fire with Jesus, and he will, he will make it. He'll take us through safely. Not one person needs to be lost, but it, uh, it's going to be an intense period. And that's the problem with a lot of this false theology out there. By having this false theology, and then you get to the actual test, and it's extreme, and you're not ready, you're setting yourself up for extraordinary discouragement and feeling of hopelessness at the end so we don't want that so let's just for now just just plan on it give up on the easy plan this isn't going to be easy but it's going to be intense and we have a great opportunity to go through it with our lord jesus (music) 